Hey guys, I wanted to take a look at some of the biggest changes in the latest Gravity Box update and I'm going to start off with the revised Immersive Mode and I've got to say it is a lot better. Before we had Immersive Mode of course but it had a few bugs, one of them being the navigation bar wouldn't hide in certain applications, the other one being the navigation bar wouldn't rehide if you used your multitask button to enter an application. Both of those have been fixed so let's go ahead and check this out. We'll enter immersive mode here. Another thing I've noticed is there's no longer that massive gap between the bottom of the screen and the icons, obviously where the navigation bar used to be. So that's no longer there, which is excellent because it gives a more proportional full screen view and it just looks better. So we can go into an application here. You can see it still stays in immersive mode. You can pull up that bar, go back home, use the multitask button to go back into immersive mode or go back into the application, sorry, and eventually it will go back into the immersive mode just like it should. Now, some applications that just didn't work with, and one of them was Temple Run. Now, when you first launched Temple Run, it was fine. It used to hide everything like it is right now. Uh, nothing's changed there. There's no problems with that. The problem occurred when you went back home and you wanted to use your multitask button to go back into Temple Run. It would end up with the navigation bar that just stayed there. Basically, it wouldn't be immersive mode. That problem has been fixed, so we can go back into Temple Run using the uh, multitask button and you can see it goes straight back into immersive mode, so no longer an issue there. It's a lot more usable now, it works really well, so yeah, there you go. They've also added another expanded desktop mode, this one is called Immersive Status Bar and this allows you to keep your navigation bar as normal, but your status bar will be in immersive mode, so you can see that there. It just gives you another option if you want a little bit more screen real estate while keeping your navigation buttons, of course you can pull that back down just like you normally could in immersive mode, so yeah. Next up we've got the Smart Radio and again this has been completely reworked. If you don't know what the Smart Radio is, it essentially allows you to control your radio or data mode depending on the state of your device. So my normal mode is LTE, you've got loads of different modes here, you can see all those. My power saving mode is 2G. Now 2G obviously uses less power than LTE or 3G, so it should save you a little bit of battery life. They've added some new options, for example when screen turns off and basically it allows you to activate the power saving mode 2G when the screen turns off regardless if mobile data is enabled or disabled, should save you a little bit of power when your screen is off and locked. You've also got the option to ignore while locked, so essentially if you just turn on your screen to check the notifications it won't actually change the network mode to normal until you unlock your device so it should help you a little bit in battery life i haven't tested it out too extensively but yeah there it is give it a go they've also added the option for you to have custom carrier text on your lock screen by default it's set to default which is just probably your carrier text where it says three right there that's what they've given you the ability to change so we'll just put my name here just for funsies we'll lock the device and check it out and now you can see it says Chris, so you can have that set to whatever you want, a nice little addition there. You can also modify the custom carrier text within your notification drawer, just dive into the notification drawer style and you can change it right there. I've changed mine to custom text baby, so yeah. We've also now got the option to long press the network mode tile and it will take you straight to your network settings. And the same with the sync tile, if you hold that it'll take you straight to your active sync settings. So there you have it guys, those are some of the biggest changes with the latest Gravity Box update. Of course there are some I haven't mentioned, you can check out all the changes in the changelog that's available in the exposed installer. So yeah, peace out.